Gethlywig Residential Centre opened in 1989 in memory of two teachers, Graham Birch and John Thompson, and is run by the Birch Thompson Charity. In 2014, it now celebrates its 25th anniversary. Pete Eskrit is for the third time riding the route between Gethlywig and Wolverhampton. He did Wolverhampton to Gethlywig in 1989, the year that Gethlywig was opened. He did both directions in 1996. And this time, for the 25th anniversary of the opening, he is riding from Gethlywig to Wolverhampton. Tuesday, November the 11th, 2014. A typical cloudy, damp November day at Colton Hills School. Students from Colton Hills did a relay replication of the 110 mile journey that Pete was undertaking. It's early afternoon and hardy students are running laps round the playing fields as part of the relay. Not the best of conditions, but with encouragement from staff, the mileage was completed. It couldn't have been very pleasant running round a very soggy playing field and there must be hearty congratulations to all those who turned out. Indoors, budding Steve Redgraves were on the rowing machines. Rowing is obviously very hard work. Does anybody understand what the readout means? Midway through the afternoon, two special guests arrived. Rachel Hay Hoflint and Anita Lonsborough. They were just in time to see the swimming section of the relay. There was also time to discuss the afternoon's activities with the PE staff. At the end of the session, there was time for group photos.
The cyclists arrived at 3.15. Pete Eskrit had been accompanied by Hugh Porter and headmaster Alberto Otero for the last 20 miles. <laughs> it had been a long hard journey, made more difficult by the conditions and headwinds blowing across the Welsh mountains. <laughs> Hugh Porter praised Pete's stamina, but he also asked where the life support unit was. Pete Eskrit, the man of the moment. And finally, Keith Berry, the Birch Thompson charity, was his brainchild.